Yes. <laughs> oh, do you know how long it's been since I wanted to sit down here and make a video? Whew! This gardening stuff is just totally captivated my life. And every free moment that I'm not working, I am out uh, pruning the crepe myrtles and uh, replenishing the soil around the trees and turning the mulch and planting seeds. And my latest project is raking the leaves and then aerating the soil underneath. And then this weekend, what I'll be doing is spreading some topsoil and then putting the seeds out and watering it in. And that should be the last part of the actual yard work until I guess it starts growing and then I'll have to crank out the lawnmower. But although it's uh, laborious or labor intensive, I have not been more relaxed. I guess the mental anguish that I feel every day is just because my brain is tired, but my body, you know, I work on the computer so my body doesn't get that tired. But I tell you what, rake in and sweep in and dig in and <laughs> my arms are so tired by the end of the night. I can't even lift them to put them on the keyboard. So I've been hitting the sack early in the evening and uh, sleeping through the entire night, which is really rare for me. I'm usually a two or three hour a night, it's good to go. I don't need any more sleep than that. If I do, I feel worse. But uh, the fresh air, I guess, and I'm getting some suntan already. My feet are getting brown. And I thought, <laughs> wow. But hey, here it is, spring forward weekend. And we're just days away from it officially being spring as it is. But that hour that we will jump forward will make it seem a little bit, the day seem a little bit longer. And I know there are a lot of people that don't care for daylight savings time, but I'm of the oppo opposite opinion. I love daylight savings. You know, having to work your 9 to 5 or 8 to 10 or, you know, however you work, whatever kind of shift that you work, it's always nice to get off of work and have there be some daylight available to do the things that you want to do. You know, after you've done all the things that you have to do, you want to have daylight hours to mow your yard, you know, do your lawn, water, uh, spend time with the kids out in that beautiful yard that you spent all that time prepping, and just enjoy the weather. So, yay for daylight savings time! And I appreciate those of you who don't care for it, but whatever it takes to get through the day for me. <laughs> Today's a tie-dye day. Just went and got my hair done, and uh, we were fooling around a little bit and decided to pink me up for a, a few weeks. <laughs> Just something fun, silly, sassy, and who, you know who better than me to try to pull it off at 55? But you know it grows out. It's just hair. It'll grow out. No big deal. You know, back in the 70s, it was the boys had to wear their hair a certain length, and the girls couldn't wear their skirts a certain length. And if if we did and came to school like that, they'd send us home from school. And you know, despite all of that, I was the hippie love child back in the high school years. And I guess I was sent home any number of times because of the way I was dressed or how short my skirts were. But, you know, I still learned everything that I had to learn to be able to graduate. So, you know, I never understood that. I guess it has never stuck because, like I said, here I am, 55, and pushing everything, every boundary to the limit. But it's all in good fun, and, you know, you got to grab all the gusto you can, right? Here, here. So, uh, other than that, I, re I work and working in my yard. I mean, that's it. Once... Once the spring gets closer and uh, things have been established, I won't have to water quite as much and I won't have to be tending to everything quite as closely and I'll have some more free time for myself. Um, early parts of the year are pretty busy for us in our business because that's when all of the, uh, the uh, payments start coming in so we have to log all of that. And then those that don't pay, you have to get on top of them and remind them to pay. And Then here it is, we're nearing tax season so that's another uh, kink in my armor of having fun. So. I'm, I'm working my way through it and uh, just using my time on YouTube as kind of an inspiration to get all of this done, you know, it's like, I think I can, I think I can, and no YouTube until you get it done, chill, so I'm hustling and bustling as fast as I can, and I miss you all desperately, and I hope things are going great for each and every one of you. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry I haven't been watching many videos, and you know, I haven't watched them, I we haven't commented on them and I apologize for that it's not because you're not in my heart and my mind it's just that right now YouTube is not on my list of things to do you know I got all the have to have to have to do's and YouTube's on the top of my want to want to want to do so I'm working my way toward it and I'm hoping that you'll still be around when I finally get my sweet patootie back on there so until then take care of yourselves and uh, keep things moving Keep sharing those smiles and laughs and love. And uh, 
I look forward to slinking my way back in again. In the meantime, I've taken some pictures of some of the things that have already started blooming here and around my city. And uh, maybe if you take a minute to stop and take some pictures of things that are starting to, to bloom, it'll be a perfect segue until the official day of spring. We're shooting for March 20th, guys, so I'll be there. Hope you will be, too. Till then, bye for now.